The next thing we are kicking out is guys carrying guitars at a party. <laughs> All right? Yeah, you know the guy. You know it's in the case or it's in the bug pay. He's walking around. He's like, oh, I just came from a show. You didn't just come from a show. You just came from your mother's basement hoping that I would ask you about your guitar so you could pull it out and play The First Day of My Life by Bright Eyes. Yeah, it sounds great. If I wanted to listen to it, I'd do so on my iPod because when you play it, I wish it was the last day of my life. <laughs> Guys carrying guitars at party are kicked out. Kick it out. Tune up no more. And that strap looks terrible. That strap looks terrible. Okay, so we're kicking that out. And do you know what we're bringing back? Do you know what we're bringing back, guys? We're bringing back mixtapes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. You remember mixtapes? Like ro writing romantic liner notes, cutting out a picture from a magazine to make the perfect insert, sitting next to the radio waiting for the perfect song to come on the radio so you could jam down on both buttons <laughs> with the conviction and passion that you felt for the person for whom you were making the tape. And yeah, you can send someone a playlist, but it's not the same. A playlist isn't tangible. A mixtape is an actual thing. It didn't pop up in your inbox like, oh, someone's made you a playlist. It was gen it was a gen genuine token of love, okay? What we want is an actual man or a woman saying, I made this for you. Here, take it. Here are all of my feelings exactly as expressed by Terence Trent Darby and Cheryl Crow. Okay? <laughs> Mixtapes, we're bringing you back! Bring you back! Put the pencil in and wind the thing. Put your pencil in and wind the thing! Take the things out the top so you can't tape over it. Take the things out the top so you can't tape over it! Okay. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we're kicking out, right? This is what we're kicking out. Spin class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, let's face it, you're dumb, all right? <laughs> Just go outside and ride an actual bike, okay? This is not something you have to simulate. Why even go to a spin class? You want to listen to terrible club music? Bring an iPod, right? There are real bikes, and they're actually pretty easy to get your hands on. Some would say it's as easy as riding a bike, all right? <laughs> spin class, we're kicking you out. Kicking you out! I don't want to hear you talking, Sharon. I want to hear you talking, Sharon. No, I don't want to do a juice cleanse afterwards. I don't want to do a juice cleanse afterwards. Get gone! Get gone! OK, with spin class gone, OK, we need to bring some spinning back into our lives. And that's why we are bringing back the most romantic game that God ever created. I am talking about spin the bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah I said it. Yeah, I said it, OK? It is a perfect game. It, it, it was a game that was all about equality. It was the great equaliser. It brought nerds together with prom queens, jocks together with goths, OK? You never knew who you were going to get. One day, it would be the girl who looked like Cindy Crawford. Another day, it would land on the girl who only talked about dragons, OK? <laughs> Try to remember when you were sat in that circle and Lindsay Reese was right across from you and you knew that she had no interest in you because she didn't even listen to your mixtape. But that moment, when that bottle spun past that, past that girl, Kim from Science, and onto Lindsay Reese, and she had to kiss you in front of everyone at the party, it was the best moment of my, I mean, your entire <laughs> young life. And that's why, spin the bottle, we're bringing you back! Bring it back! Pop her up! Bring it up! Spin it good! Spin it good! And to prove to you how it is so back, OK, we are going to play it right here. Right now, okay? Let's see where we go. We'll be right back with the cast of Jurassic World. Aren't you?